Hey, everyone. Welcome to Fear the Walking Dead Season 3, Episode 4, 100, Review. So, um, Daniel is back. And he's, honestly, he's flipping straight up boss in this episode. I have to say, besides... The, uh, the premiere, the season three double premiere, which includes, um, well, episode, I don't know. The double premiere was episode one and two. Episode one was my favorite, is my favorite episode so far this season, but this has got to be my second favorite. Like, all of the, all of the characters, like Efren and Lola, um, were really cool characters, and I can't wait to see what they do with them. I'm hoping they'll become pretty main characters, um, soon, but by the looks of the next episode, it doesn't look like we'll be seeing them much, which sucks, because I really like the, um, the Afrain character. Um, he was really, like, he was a guy who still lived by the rules of the old world. Like, he doesn't approve of killing, but he does, like, forgive people for things. Like, he is he is a forgiving man. Um, and Daniel had his travel through Dante's Dam and ended up just straight up just, like, um, killing all, f all three of his goons, and then killing Dante himself, and then dumping their bodies over the dam, which is absolutely insane, I love that part, um, and then Daniel, there's a moment where Daniel, there's multiple moments like this, where Daniel sort of asks for forgiveness, or sort of puts himself in the way of death. So, he still obviously feels guilt for, you know, um, giving away their location of where they give off water, and he got that, he got one guy killed. Um, he feels guilty about all of the things that he did before the apocalypse, Killing all those people in El Salvador, um, killing that one, killing some kids. That was his first kill. His first kill was like little kid. If you guys haven't seen season two, they explain that that his like first kill was like a little kid. Like one, I don't know. It was one of his first kills. I'm pretty sure. It. I think no. His first kill. His first. No, his first kill was, like, a dying soldier. Like, his father shot the soldier, and then just the the uh, father gave Daniel the gun, and he finished it off for him. So, this episode had um, Daniel going through multiple trials. He had to get through the burning house, which is amazing that he got away. He had to get away from some walkers. He had to get away from the the storms and crap that was happening outside. By the way, probably one of my favorite Walker like kills was in this episode. It was this, this huge guy just comes up on Daniel and then there's like a lightning storm and it just like it's it's like really cool. It shows how he is a zombie and everything. And it, like, lightning strikes his head. And it just straight up just zaps him and he dies. And he gets, like, my God. That was so amazing, honestly. I thought that's one of the... That, that is one of my favorite Walker kills from any any of these um episodes, honestly. My favorite Walker kill out of Walking Dead and Fear the Walking Dead... Well, no. My favorite Walker kill from The Walking Dead is most likely, um, most likely when Negan just, like, full-on just slams, like, a, like, a lamppost 
onto the zombie's head and just like crushes it. It's like flipping amazing. Um, for Fear the Walking Dead, it's it's still gonna be the uh, the motorboat one from last season, where Nick just takes the um the propeller of the boat that they're in and just like just slams it onto the zombie and just cuts his face all up. And then for Z Nation, it's just Murphy just full on using his head and exploding a zombie's face. It's amazing. But, um, but, yeah, guys, this episode was absolutely incredible. It was had great development for Daniel. And one last thing, um, I loved how Daniel, Daniel straight up just saw through Dan, um, Strand's lie. So, Strand said that Ophelia and the rest of the group, you know, Madison, Alicia, and him, thought that he was dead. Thought that Daniel was dead. But then, after that, he said that Ophelia, Ophelia is, one, at the hotel, and, two, she's waiting for him. But, how could she be waiting for him if she thinks he's dead? Little do we know, she doesn't think Daniel's dead. In fact, last season, her storyline was pretty much, for the second half, going after Daniel. Um, And I'm hoping that we see her this week. I, I've really been wanting some Ophelia action. And if we don't get some, I'm going to be very, very upset. Because, as you all know, um, my least favorite character on the show, as of right now, is Strand. Now, it's Strand now, because this episode just totally just killed Strand's character for me. I, I just don't like him at all. Um, but my favorite character as of right now is Daniel, of course. It was Travis, but sadly my homeboy is currently lying at the bottom of a, of a flipping rock canyon. Like, just lying there dead. They really traded out Travis's life for Daniel's, but anyway, guys, this episode was awesome. Go check it out. Um, I'm I highly recommend it. This is like my favorite episode of Fear the Walking Dead this season, besides episode one. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.